In this video, I'm going to show you guys a really good method to work out the four points of your clip planes of your camera. So we can pass in any distance um, through the camera in our method. So if we pass in a distance of 0 0.3, we'll be able to work out the clip plane points of the near clip plane. If we pass in a, a distance of 1000, we'll be able to work out the far clip plane points. So the points at the far end of the, uh, the camera field of view. So these four points here. So I'm going to code this method in this video, then we'll be able to find the four points at any distance in our camera. And that's really important when finding our drag and mesh points. And we'll be using that in the next video. But feel free to use this method wherever you want in your games. It's really handy to find out any clip plane points. So I've made a new region in my mouse script called structs, and I'm going to define a new one, a public struct. I'm going to call it clip plane points. So this is just like a template of an object where we can then store our clip plane points in here if we wanted to. Um, so I'm going to define a public vector 3 and call this one upper left. So that's going to be the first point. And let's just copy and paste public vector 3 and put it down here. So the next one is the upper right and uh, lower left and lower right. So this struct is going to contain four properties. Um, so we can just store our clip plane points in this object, basically. So with that out of the way, I'm going to scroll down and uh, make this method. So right at the bottom, um, if you're developing your own games, guys, you can ignore all of this code. This method is not de dependent on any of this code, so you don't need it. Um, OK, so works out plane points at any distance inside a camera basically. So it's going to be a public, it's going to return a clip plane points object and uh, let's call this one camera clip plane points and it's going to bring in that distance so float distance. Okay so okay before I explain how we're going to work out the points I'm just going to define the return object so let's make a clip plane points object let's call it clip plane points but with a lower C plane points equals a new clip plane points object okay and right at the end we're just going to return this so return clip plane points okay so in this space we need to work out the four points of the camera so let's pretend we want to pass in a value of 0 0.3 to work out the near clip plane so I'm going to hop over to my full screen mode and this is our setup so this is my camera and um, this is the near clip plane and this is just the distance between the camera and the clip plane so firstly I'm going to draw this from a side view so that's my camera point and my near clip plane in the side view will just be a line okay and the four points will be here and here so you might realize that if we put in our field of view angles this makes a triangle so this angle here is the field of view so field of view and uh, if we split this triangle in half it makes a right angle triangle, so right angle here. And it turns out we can work out this height. So this height here will be half the height of our plane inside our camera. And we can work that out. And from there, we can get the aspect ratio of the camera and times the height by it. And then we'll work out half the width. OK, guys, so we know this distance already. And uh, if we get the field of view divided by 2, we get this angle here. So to get the ratio of um, this distance and the angle, we can just use our mathf tan function. So all we need to do here is put tan mathf tan, bring in this angle in radians, so the radian angle, and then we just times that value by the distance, and that's how we get our height. Okay, so equals height. This is just one line of code in Unity, guys. And then all we need to do is times the height with the aspect ratio of the camera and then we'll get the width the width okay so my pen tablet is a bit slanted so that's why I'm um, writing like this but never mind so with these two little calculations we can then get the half height of this plane and the half width as well okay so then we can just make new points in 3D space and move them forward and left and right to um, work out each of these points so we can do that now in our um, in our C sharp script Whoops. So if I return to my function, we just need to get a few things. So I'm just going to get it as a transform. I'm going to get our drag mesh cameras transform. So let's call it transform equals drag mesh camera transform. OK, 
Okay, simple as that. Um, there's a few more things we need. We need the position of the camera. So it's simply transform position. The drag mesh camera's position. If you want, guys, you can pass in a camera as well. If you've got multiple cameras in your game you want to work out, um, feel free to do that. Okay, the next thing we need is the field of view, or half field of view. So I'm going to call this half field of view equals, and to get the field of view, we can go to our drag mesh camera, camera component, and uh, field of view. Okay, so as you can see from the diagram, we need to divide this by 2 to get the angle of the right angle triangle. So let's do that now, divided by 2. Or if we really wanted to, we can times it by 0 0.5 because multiplication is uh, less expensive um, in computing than division. So we could do that. Uh, then we get the angle. So we divided it by 2. Now we need to convert this value to radians. And to do that, all we need to do is times it by a method in Unity, mathf. Um, degrees to radians, so degree to radians. And that's all we need, we've just got our angle. So the last thing is the aspect ratio we need, and that is just a float as well, so aspect equals drag mesh camera again, camera aspect, to get the aspect ratio. And now we've got all the information we need to work out the half height of this plane using this little calculation here. So to use this we can say float height equals and we need to use that tan method so a bit of trigonometry there guys so math f tan and then we pass in that half field of view angle in uh, radians okay so we've got that and then we times that by the distance and then we've worked out our height it's as simple as that that is our half height of this okay so now we can work out the width float to width equals simply the height times the aspect ratio of the camera so we've got the width and the half width and the half height. So now we've got our width and our height, we can then move points in 3D space in the correct positions and then work out each of the clip plane points. So the first point I'm going to work out is the lower right point. And we can start off by actually defining the point itself. So clip plane points, our return object, dot lower right equals so I'm going to bring it forward, I'm going to say the position of the drag mesh camera, so we'll start here. So the first thing we're going to do is bring it forward our distance, so then our pointer will sit here in the middle somewhere. So we just need to say position plus transform forward times the distance, and that brings it forward. Okay, so the next thing is to move it right, so we're going to move it this way. And we just need to plus the, um, the width value to move it this way. So then we say clip plane points, lower right, plus equals transform right, okay, times the width. So we're getting that right direction and timesing it by the width to move it forward. Okay guys, so so the last thing we need to do here, so the point is currently in the middle of the plane still, so we moved it here to begin with, we should have done it there, and then we've moved it across to the width, so we need to move it downwards now to the lower right point. Okay, so clip plane points, lower right, so we can say minus equals transform up, I'm going to use transform up in all of the calculations, so we can say minus equals to make it go down, times the height, and that's it guys, so that's what, that's how we work out the lower right point, we start off at the camera's position, move it forward to the correct distance, then we can just shift it to the right, to the side of the plane, and then shift it downwards, and we basically do the same thing for each of the points of the clip plane, so the next one is the lower left point, clip plane points, lower left, equals our camera position, so let's move it forward again, transform forward times the distance, same calculation, but this time we need to move it left, so clip plane points, lower left, I'm going to put minus equals transform right, so I'm just going to use transform right the same as here, but put minus equals instead, times the width, so we're moving it in the opposite direction now, so this way, and then we just move it down again, so pretty simple stuff, clip plane points, lower left, uh, minus equals, transform up times the height, and there, that's our two lower points guys, so similarly to the upper right, clip plane points, upper right this time, equals the position of the camera, so we're as you can notice, we're always starting from the position of this camera and moving it forward to the to the plane 
uh, distance. So the position plus transform forward times the distance. So because we're going up this time, we need to do plus equals transform up, but firstly I'll move it in the right position. So clip plane points, upper right. So similarly with the lower right, we're going to move it um, right in this, di in this direction again. So it's going to be plus equals transform right times the width. And then we just move it up. We've moved these lower points downwards, but by using minus equals transform up, we can use plus equals now. So clip plane points, upper right, uh, plus equals transform up times the height. So the last one is the upper left clip plane points upper left equals position of camera let's go forward to meet the plane transform forward times distance clip plane points upper left then we can say minus equals transform right times the width moving it in this direction to the left and then we just move it up so clip plane points upper left plus equals transform up times the height. Okay, so that's all we need now. We've got our four clip plane points in our clip plane points object and now we can just return it. So you don't need to type any of this out again guys. You can use this method for any camera you like and works out the clip plane points from any distance in the camera. Okay, so just to test and see if this works, I'm just going to um, do paste this at the top of my update method. So let's call this um, method now. So let's store a new clip plane points object. Let's say near plane points equals call our method and the distance would be the drag mesh camera camera near clip plane which is 0 0.3 because we know that in our inspector the near clip plane sits 0 0.3 units away from the camera itself. So let's just debug something, see if it works. Debug log near plane points, lower left. Okay, and let's actually debug the um, other ones. Near plane points, let's debug the lower right as well. So let's see if this works. Saving this out, let's see if we've got any errors. I've still got my terrain toolkit warnings, should do something about that, and play the game. So here we go, and as I'm moving the camera, these points adjust, so that's working really well. And uh, there are clip plane points. So I hope this helped you out, guys. We're going to use this method in the next video to, d to determine um, the points of our mesh in 3D space based on this 2D drag. So we're just with, so in the next video, we'll actually get to converting this 2D drag into a 3D mesh. Okay, thanks for watching the video, guys. See you in the next video.